All right, let's talk weather here this morning. Waking up to some cloudy skies across the area, getting back, getting you back out to the UNT campus in Denton here this morning. 67 degrees we're looking at currently. It's a mild, muggy morning out there for sure. We'll have a little fog, a little drizzle around as we go through the morning hours today. But look at the forecast highs. We're starting up, uh, out in the mid and upper 60s now. We're going to be all the way into the mid 70s today in uh, some areas. Yes, it will be very spring like the normal high 56. So we're going to be well above that uh, here for today. So the spring like temperatures now. With that, though, we will have the spring like storms to deal with a little bit later today as well, especially in our eastern counties, as we've been talking about. So uh, stay weather aware as we get toward late morning on into the afternoon, especially not everyone will see severe weather today across North Texas, but that potential is there. So here's a look at the timing with that potential for the storms. Now early on, this is around 7 a.m. or so. Most of the morning we'll have some scattered light showers around a little drizzle, kind of foggy out there for us for most of the morning, but that starts to increase in coverage as we head toward late morning getting into the afternoon. This is around 11 a.m. Still for the most part, I think we'll have some showers around, but maybe some isolated thunderstorms developing as we head toward midday between 11 and 12 o'clock here this afternoon. That increases in coverage. The storms get a little stronger, still isolated to scattered, but especially in our eastern counties. This is around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Our eastern counties, Greenville, Terrell, over toward Canton, get, getting on into East Texas. That's where we'll have the greatest risk for severe storms. A little more isolated, it looks like, back toward the Metroplex, and then as we hit later into the afternoon around 5 p.m. The ongoing potential severe storms, especially in our eastern counties by later in the afternoon. Then as we head into the evening, there's that Pacific cold front that's going to push into the area, so there will be maybe a thin line of showers and storms associated with that as we head toward midnight, and then that pushes farther east after midnight during the overnight hours. Maybe our southeastern counties will have some ongoing storms, but by tomorrow morning, all that will start to clear out. We'll be back to some sunny skies and temperatures will be slightly cooler as we go through the day tomorrow. But again, that severe potential today that the marginal to slight risk over most of uh, North Texas. Our western counties don't think we'll have to worry about any severe weather once we get west of Fort Worth today. But there's that enhanced risk level three on the scale of five there for the stronger severe storms. And that's where we'll have the greatest risk for that uh, a few tornadoes in our eastern counties. It looks like and the larger hail as well. But we could see some hail up to quarter size around the Metroplex, but maybe up to as large as ping pong ball size hail, especially in that uh, marginal risk area uh, as we get into this afternoon. So again, to have a way to make sure you get the uh, warnings and the watches that we will likely see a little bit later today and just stay weather aware as we head into the afternoon. Now our temperatures, yes, they will be warm as we start off here this week up around 74, still in the mid 60s tomorrow, so still well above average, but some cooler air begins to filter in a little later in this week. We'll have some mid upper 50s closer to seasonal averages for us as we head into Wednesday and Thursday and a little milder going into next weekend. As we look at that 10 day forecast, we should be back into the lower 60s next weekend, but check out those overnight lows. It does get chilly by midweek as those lows will be dipping down into the mid and upper 30s headed uh, heading into Thursday and Friday of this week.